In the early 1980s, before the Berlin Wall came down, the Soviet Union was on a quest to develop a fifth-generation aircraft that could dominate the skies and outmatch every American fighter on the market. Sukhoi's groundbreaking design of an aircraft with forward-swept wings, which dates back to World War II, was just what the Soviet Navy and Air Force had been looking for. After years of research and development, the Su-37 Berkut, or Golden Eagle, was born, boasting advanced technologies that were ahead of its time. The use of composite materials to integrate carbon fiber wings was a game changer, allowing the Berkut to withstand the immense stress put on the aircraft with such a unique wing configuration to go along with its increased maneuverability. Despite its impressive technological advancements, the fate of the Berkut was thrown into uncertainty with the imminent fall of the Soviet Union in 1989. Nonetheless, the Su-37 remains a symbol of Soviet engineers' ingenuity and a testament to the power of innovation in the face of adversity. Fifth Generation In the early 1980s, the once mighty Soviet Union was only a shadow of its former past. It was crumbling from the inside. Government corruption, new ideologies, and a deteriorating military turned the tide in favor of the West, or the United States and its allies. Nevertheless, the Soviet Union still had much to offer. It was still the world's second most powerful military after its Western counterpart. In 1983, engineers from Sukhoi were tasked with designing a fifth-generation Russian fighter that could deter the latest American designs. This new aircraft design was also intended to be a companion to the Yakovlev YAK-141 VTOL. It was originally dubbed the Sukhoi Su-22, but was later changed to Sukhoi Su-27KM to confuse American spies. General designer Mikhail Simonov and Sukhoi sought to develop an aerodynamic fighter with enhanced maneuverability, reduction in radar signature, and prolonged cruising at supersonic speeds. The Soviet Navy wanted the aircraft to be multi-role, easily intercepting any type of aircraft, swiftly engaging other fighters in air battles, and striking ground-based and waterborne mobile targets. The groundwork for the design advanced rapidly, and Sukhoi envisioned using forward-swept wings, or FSW, to bolster the aircraft's maneuverability. While Sukhoi began working on a mock-up of the aircraft, the collapse of the Soviet Union accelerated, leading to many cuts in military projects. In 1988, one year before the fall of the Berlin Wall, the program was cancelled and archived. Forward Swept Wings The forward swept wings concept was too good to be ditched among the dozens of projects cancelled by the emerging Russian Federation after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The Germans had already studied this groundbreaking idea during World War II. In 1944, the Luftwaffe developed a jet bomber to outrun Allied interceptors. It was the Junkers Ju-287. Although innovative, the design put too much stress on the wings, resulting in violent twisting and bending while in flight. Due to the lack of composite materials, such as carbon fiber, that could easily relieve the airframe of the unnecessary stress. Consequently, German designers and pilots could never fully appreciate the benefits of forward-swept wings, such as reduced drag and increased speed. However, the Americans and Soviets gathered the schematics and scientific research of the Junkers Ju-287 testbed to use it in the future. By the late 1990s, the Russian Ministry of Defense retook the program, and Sukhoi was given some support to continue development. The aircraft borrowed ideas from the Su-27 flanker. In 1997, the aircraft prototype was ready to take to the skies for the first time. The Golden Eagle the Russian testbed was dubbed Su-37 Berkut, or Golden Eagle. The aircraft had a length of 22 meters, a height of 6.3 meters, and a width of 15 meters. The design had a maximum takeoff weight of 35,000 pounds. The Berkut's fuselage was made of composite materials, aluminum and titanium alloys. ORPE, or Obninsk Research and Production Enterprise Technologia, was entrusted with the panels for the forward-swept wing. The panels employed a new state-of-the-art material. Valery Ternovoy, head of the Technical Process Automation Department of ORPE, recalled, quote, At that time, we had the only installation in Russia for automated display, but its programs provided work only in two planes. We manually adjusted the machine to two more coordinates. It was a simple but painstaking work. As soon as the spring-loaded head sat down on the limit switch, we began to select the coordinates so that it would move further as we needed. Emotions are unforgettable. I worked seven days a week for a month. The process got easier with time, 
but it took Su Kui and its associates time to automate workflows, but it paid off. Using forward-swept wings would provide the Berkut with excellent maneuverability at subsonic speeds, better angles of attack, reduced radar signature, and reduced landing and takeoff landing rolls. Design and Features The Berkut debuted in January 2000 and began its first trials in December 2001. It was fitted with two Perm Aviad Vigatel D30 F6 turboshaft engines, providing over 18,700 pounds of thrust and a maximum of 32,000 pounds of thrust through afterburning. The engines had a length of almost 4 meters and a diameter of 1 meter. Each weighed 3,418 pounds. The Burkut could swiftly achieve a maximum speed of over 1,066 miles per hour and had an outstanding cruise speed of 870 miles per hour. The range was topped at 2,050 miles with a service ceiling of 59,000 feet and a rate of climb of 46,200 feet per minute. During the numerous tests, Sukhoi scientists also evaluated the performance of the carbon fiber wings. Although designers initially worried every time they heard the slightest crunch, the composite materials did their job. They contained the stress put into the aircraft. The wings bent, but held the load without any issues. As a technology demonstrator, the Burkut had no official armament, but featured 14 hardpoints and could be armed with an internal 30mm cannon. Test pilots praised how easy to operate the Su-37 was. Still, the Burkut was not meant to go beyond the prototype phase. The Russian Air Force ditched the aircraft. Consequently, the Burkut was redesignated Su-47. The Air Force concluded that reversing the wing root and tip led to technical issues that were not worth the performance gains. The forward-swept wings were prone to unrecoverable stall instability and potential wing failure from aeroelastic twisting. Advancements in thrust vectoring technology resulted in maneuverability gains similar to those of swept wings, but without any of their shortcomings. Western Counterpart the United States also tested the potential of aircraft with forward-swept wings with its own design, the X-29, developed between the U.S. Air Force, NASA, and DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The aircraft flew on December 14, 1984, and was received with almost the same results as its Russian counterpart. Although the X-29 demonstrated forward-swept wing technology for supersonic fighter aircraft for the first time, DARPA dubbed it, quote, the most aerodynamically unstable aircraft ever built. The X-29 featured a digital fly-by-wire flight control system and carbon fiber wing technology that, coupled with a lightweight design, was more maneuverable than conventional U.S. aircraft. Regardless of these innovations, the two X-29 prototypes developed were not enough to convince the Air Force. From March 1985 to April 1990, the USAF conducted 279 test flights and ultimately declined the high maneuverability promised by forward-swept wings. However, some X-29 technologies were later integrated into other U.S. aircraft, such as advanced composite materials and aeroelastic tailoring to resist twisting under flight loads. Burkut's Legacy Despite its many shortcomings and inevitable fate, the Su-47 Burkut still had much to offer to the Russian Air Force, just like its American counterpart. The Burkut became a flying laboratory to test new technologies incorporated into future aircraft. Russian engineers have also used the unique prototype to test several of the aerodynamic design principles that eventually became core features of Russia's true fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57 Felon. Additionally, the Burkut was used to test the prototypes of the internal weapons bay of the Su-57, paving the way for the successful platform of this lethal fighter. The successful thrust vectoring of many of Sukhoi's latest aircraft is also due to the Berkut. The Su-47 was appreciated by attendees at Russia's Max Air Show in 2001 and the following years before vanishing in 2007, when it was last seen. Many suspected it went to the scrapyard or had been lost in an incident. Nevertheless, the Berkut was a welcome sight for Max 2019 attendees when it was displayed at a static parking lot to commemorate the unveiling of the Su-57 export version. In October 2022, some months after the launch of Putin's special military operation in Ukraine, news surfaced about secret testing involving the Berkut. According to Rostec, the Russian Ministry of Defense is conducting tests with the Su-47 to analyze the feasibility of developing combat UAVs with a reverse sweep wing design. This proves that 40 years after its introduction, the Su-47 Berkut still has something to offer the Russian military reminding them of what could have occurred if the project had been given more time and resources to properly take off. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Skies channel to find more videos about unconventional aircraft designs. Also, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels for more about military technology and history. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos.